Thanks, Mike Myers, for a ten dollars super chat. I have kept radio. Oh, Mike, you left me twenty dollars super chat. Jeez, thank you, man. I have Radio Master Boxer with external ELRS Ranger Micro with your five-inch build and walk snail system. My LQ is a hundred, and my RSSI is good, but my SNR kept saying low. Will I fail safe? And how do I fix this? Yeah. So. Um, if your LQ is 100, then you're good to go. Uh, LQ is the ultimate determinant of the health of your RC link. It is the number or the percent of packets that are getting through successfully. If it's 100, that means every packet's getting through and you're probably good to go. As the link gets worse and worse, or as there gets to be more and more interference, the LQ will start to drop. If LQ is above 90, then you're good to go because it's never going to be 100 all the time. If your LQ is between 80 and 90, that's questionable. And if your LQ is below 80, I would start thinking about turning around. Uh, typically, I see Express LRS fall out of the air fail safe somewhere around an LQ of 30 or 40. But when you're down in that 80% LQ, 70% LQ, it gets really unpredictable and it can just it can just go unpredictably. So that's the guideline. If you're getting an SNR, SNR low or an, R, or an RSSI low warning, chances are that those thresholds just haven't been set correctly. Betaflight's default DBM threshold is like minus 70 and... Uh, Express LRS can go down to like minus 115. So Betaflight throws this warning and you are nowhere near fail safing. And I always just turn, I always just turn the SNR and the RSSI warnings off and pay attention to my LQ.